name is Mac McQuaid. I live in Montana. And I got interested in freeze drying a couple of months ago. And I wanted a way that I could vacuum seal quart mason jars and pint mason jars that puts a better seal on them than some of the other methods. So I came up with a, a vacuum chamber to seal single one quart jars. I also came up with a, with a modified pressure cooker that'll seal seven quart jars at a time. And possibly if there's an interest, I'll do a video later on, on that one. But for today, I wanted to show you how this uh, do-it-yourself vacuum chamber works. And so we'll get started and I'll show you right now. Well, this is my uh, phrase dry vacuum chamber that I built. I'll show you how it works. This is Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Just a standard uh, end cap that I bored out on the lathe so it'll fit in the fit easily as a gasket in the bottom. So simply put the chamber together like that, suck the vacuum out of here, and it'll seal the jar. Here's how it works. There's a jar of garlic that we've done before. Make sure the seal's okay. This is a used lid. We're just going to put the ring on very loose. Set it in the vacuum chamber like this. Now you'll notice right now I can pick it up and, and it comes off. This is an inexpensive uh, vacuum pump I bought off of eBay, Chinese made, about $60. This is a valve stem, automotive valve stem. So I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on. Now you'll notice if I pick this up, the bottom does not fall off. That means it's pulling a vacuum in this chamber. The sound on the machine has changed slightly, so I'll shut it off. If you listen carefully, you can hear the vacuum. Okay, now, top will come off. The lid is really on there tight. So let me, let me show you how tight it is. So that really puts them on there tight. So anyway, that's my do-it-yourself vacuum chamber along with the cheap Chinese pump. And that's how it works. <laughs> 